Thanks for joining. In this video, we will continue to look at common questions to pass any algebra or math test. Please watch all the videos in this series to aid you pass any math test with ease. You can check out ultimatealgebra.com or ultimateged.com for more. Let's dive right in. Question 16. A student's average score on four tests is 85. What does the student need to score on the fifth test to raise their average to 90? This is a typical average or mean question. The average score is the total score over the number of tests taken. For the four test, we have been given the average as 85. The number of tests taken is four. We can find the total score. Multiply both sides by four. The four will cancel out. 4 times 85 is 340. So the total score for the 4 tests is 340. Average of the 5 tests is total scores of all 5 tests divided by the number of tests taken. We know the total for 4 of the test, which is 340. Let's represent the score for the 5th test by x. So the average of the tests, which has been given as 90, will be equal to the sum of the 4 tests, which is 340, plus the fifth test, which is x, divided by the number of tests taken, which we know is 5. Now we solve for x to know the score of the fifth test. Multiply both sides by the denominator, which is 5. 5 will cancel 5, leaving 340 plus x. When we multiply 90 by 5, we will get 450. To find x, we need to subtract 340 from both sides. When we subtract 340 from 340 plus x, negative 340 will cancel 340 leaving x. Again, when we subtract 340 from 450, we will get 110. Therefore, the student need to score 110 in the fifth test to raise the average to 90. Question 17. A rectangle has a length of 12 inches and a width of 8 inches. A right triangle has a base of 8 inches and a height of 6 inches. If the triangle is placed inside the rectangle as shown below, what is the area of the shaded region? To know the area of the shaded region, we have to first know the area of the rectangle, and also the area of the triangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. Our length is given as 12 and width 8, and that gives us 12 times 8. 12 multiplied by 8 is 96. Since the unit is in inches and we are finding area, we will get 96 inches squared as the area for the rectangle. Now let's also look at the area of the triangle, and that is half times base times height. With the diagram given, the base of our triangle is 8 and the height is 6. So we can have half multiplied by the base, which is 8 times the height, which is 6. 2 goes into itself once, but into 8 4 times. And this gives us 4 times 6, which is 24 inches squared. Now the area of the shaded region will be the area of the rectangle minus the area of the triangle. With the area of the rectangle, we had 96. And with the area of the triangle, we got 24. 96 minus 24 gives us 72. Hence the area of the shaded region is 72 inches squared. Question 18. The pie chart below shows the distribution of a company's expenses for the month of January. If the total expenses for the month of January were $50,000, how much did the company spend on repairs? With the information given, the total expenditure of the company in January is $50,000. From the pie chart, we are also given that 50% of the total expenditure was on repairs. To find the amount spent on repairs, we multiply the percentage of repairs with the total expenses. Hence, 50%, which is the same as 50 divided by 100, multiplied by the total expenditure, which is $50,000. To simplify this, 100 goes into itself once, but into 50,500 times. This leaves us with 50 times 500, which is 25,000. This implies that the company spent $25,000 on repairs out of the total expenditure of $50,000. Question 19. A rectangular garden is 8 feet wide and 12 feet long. 
If a two-foot wide walkway is added around the garden, what is the area of the walkway? For word problems of this kind, it is always good to draw a diagram to help you picture what's going on and solve it correctly. Draw a rectangle to represent the garden. The width of it is 8 feet and length is 12 feet. Draw another rectangle around the first rectangle to represent the 2 feet walkway added around the garden. Note that the walkway was created 2 feet around the garden. This implies that 2 feet walkway is added to the left and to the right side of the length of the garden. Now to get the length of the garden plus the walkway, add the 2 plus 12 plus 2 together. And by doing that, the length of the garden plus the walkway will be 16 feet. The same way, 2 feet walkway is added to the top and to the bottom side of the width of the garden. Hence, the width of the garden plus the walkway is 2 plus 8 plus 2, which is 12 feet. To find the area of the walkway, first we have to know the area of the garden. Since the garden is rectangular, the area of the garden is equal to length times width. The length is 12 multiplied by the width, which is 8. Multiply 12 by 8, and that will give us 96 feet squared. We have to also know the area of the garden plus the walkway. This is also a rectangle. So we have length times width. The length of the garden plus walkway is 16. The width of the garden plus walkway is 12. Multiplying 16 by 12, we will get 192 feet square as the area of the garden plus the walkway. Now the area of the walkway alone is equal to the area of the garden plus the walkway, minus area of the garden. Substitute the value for the area of the garden plus the walkway, which is 192, and the area of the garden, which is 96. Subtract 96 from 192, and this will give 96 feet squared as the area of the walkway. Question 20. A cylindrical tank has a height of 10 meters and a diameter of 6 meters. The tank is filled with water up to a height of 8 meters. What is the volume of the water in the tank? Let's have a pictorial representation of the information given. Taken this as our cylinder. The height given is 10 meters and the diameter is 6 meters. The water is only filled to 8 meters of the height of the cylindrical tank. Note that liquids take the shape of the container in which they fill. So the diameter of the water will be the same as that of the cylindrical tank, which is 6 meters. The formula for finding the volume of the water is pi r squared h. Pi is a constant and it will be given to you on a test. It is 3.14. We know the height as 8 meters. We don't know the radius. However, we have been given the diameter of the cylinder as 6 meters. Radius is diameter divided by 2. So the radius is 6 over 2, which is 3. Substituting the values, we have 3.14 times 3 squared times 8. By order of operation, we have to work on the 3 squared first. 3 squared is 9. This gives us 3.14 times 9 times 8. To get the volume of the water, we multiply 3.14 by 9 and by 8 and this gives us 226.08 meter cube as the volume of the water. We will end this video here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and watch our other videos. The more questions you solve or videos you watch, the better your math will be. See you in the next video.